Yeah, yeah. Are we in tune? Yeah. Well, that's there we go. Check your right. Okay. This is a song actually kind of ripped off from the Kingston Trio. They did it rather cheerfully in a kind of... Um, oh, we got no cheerful but <laughs> I found that if you transpose it into the minor, it's much more amusing somehow. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Captain Ball from Halifax, one scene. Private quarters seduced a maid who hung herself for shame from her own garters. His wicked conscience slighted him, he lost his stomach daily. He took to baking turpentine and thought upon Miss Bailey. The chorus, are you going to join him? Oh, Miss Bailey, oh, Miss Bailey, oh, unfortunate Miss Bailey. They liked it anyway. <laughs> One night, at times he went to rest. He caught a fever He says, I am a handsome man But I am a gay deceiver His, his candle just at twelve o'clock He began to burn quite palely The ghost stepped up to his bedside He hoped it was Miss Bailey Oh, Miss Bailey Oh, Miss Bailey, oh, unfortunate Miss Bailey. Avant Miss Bailey, then he cried, your face looks white and mealy, dear Captain Smith, the ghost replied, yeah, use me. Most ungenially, the coroner's quest goes hard with me because I acted frailly and pass and pigs won't me because though I'm a dead Miss Bailey. Oh, Miss Bailey. Oh, Miss Bailey. Oh, I'm fortunate. Glasses. Dear man, said he, since you and I accounts must once for all close. We have a five pound note that's tucked away in my small clothes. Will bribe the sexton for your grave. The ghost then vanish gaily, saying, Bless you, wicked Captain Smith. Remember, oh, Miss Bailey. Oh, Miss Bailey, oh, Miss Bailey, oh, unfortunate Miss Bailey. The captain from his bed arose, his fever now departed. His appetite was keen once more, and thence for town he started. He ordered beef and mutton too, as he before had daily. And he eyed the pretty ladies too, and forgot about Miss Bailey. Oh, Miss Bailey. Oh, Miss Bailey. Oh, unfortunate Miss Bailey. And one more time. Oh, Miss Bay.
Hey, Leo. 